Hello. <laughs> so we're going to try this one more time. I like have tried this a few times and I'm in um, staying. I'm actually in Boise right now. I did a workshop this weekend, which was awesome. Uh, and um, it'll be interesting to see how the Wi-Fi is here. Um, so anyways, wanted to talk today really, you know, there's so many times when we're trying to create things that we truly want, right? And we end up bringing in old programming, old stories, old ideas, old beliefs. Can anyone relate to that? I can. <laughs> and so one of the things I want to start to just like talk to you guys about a little bit is how do we stop ourselves from really bringing in these old ideas, right? Like how do we really create from a blank slate and create like create fresh? Um, so one of the questions and kind of awarenesses I want to put out to you, because I've been playing with this myself, right? I, you know, I come from a sales background. Um, for those of you guys who don't, uh, don't know, um, I actually was in sales for over 10 years and I have all these ideas about, oh, like, like all these ideas that I project onto workshops or trainings, like it's like, oh, people, you know, all these ideas, people don't want to work with me, people this, you know, so just all these things that I end up projecting out. And these are all things that I had like from an old, like they're like, they're old, right? They're stale. They're really, they're truthfully, they're stale at this point. And, um, I'm, I'm cre recreating them in, into fresh, but I've had to really work with this, right? Because I've had to realize that, um, in part, uh, my little girl is like, she's, she's kind of, she's asking for attention, right? She's asking me to like pay attention to her and, um, and like to, talk to her about, you know, like, oh, hey, we don't have to create from this old place anymore. So one question that I want to put out to you guys really is all around, like, what if we were to let go of your old, pro like, so you're trying to create something in your life, right? And, um, uh, you know, you're finding you're creating an old experience, right? Which really isn't your truth. So let's be honest, right? So it's like, first and foremost, to note that, that that old experience of you not getting what you want or you struggling, that's old stuff, right? That's that's patterning, that's your programming. And so what do you do to, to actually create uh, a blank slate? And so I've been playing with this and one of the questions I keep recentering myself on, how would I show up now if I was creating a blank slate, right? So how would I show up? So like, say for instance, you're in a relationship, right? Or you're, you're starting to date someone. Um, this is always a good example, but you're starting to date someone and you find yourself projecting all like, this is how people show up for me. Like people, people don't show up for me. Like whatever version of that, that you're projecting into your relationship, that's not working for you, but you just keep recreating it over and over and over. So one thing that you can start to do to start to shift this is to actually go, okay, like if I was coming in with a blank slate right now, uh, how would I show up? So I think even before that question, though, I think it's important, like I said, I started to talk about a little bit about acknowledging your little girl or little boy that lives within you that's like maybe maybe saying, oh, people don't show up for me because they want you to pay attention to that, right? They want attention. They want love. They want to feel like they, they're heard. So first and foremost, it's important to have that conversation with your little boy, little girl. And a lot of times I do this, and I do this, um, I do different versions of this in my workshop. Um, I love helping people clear energy this way. I think it's actually a really powerful way to clear energy and you don't have to like spend hours working on, uh, with something, right? Like for me, what I'll do is I can tune into where the energy is so that you're not telling that story over and over and over. So I just tune into the energy and then we, you know, we say out loud. So say for instance, you feel like no one shows up for you. That might be something that you actually say out loud. So you might say it, you know, stand up and say like, no one ever shows up for me. I feel like no one ever shows up for me, right? And you would literally just say that over and over and over. And you'll find it's it's easy, it's it's even um, now, right? I just said that twice, right? And did you feel like you could feel like it got a little brighter, even just me saying that out loud twice, right? So one of the, the first key to this is really paying attention to your little boy, little girl, and actually having a conversation with them. It's like, why are you still focused on this? Like what, what, you know, what's bothering you about this? What are you concerned about um, around this? And why are you still focusing on this? So that's one. And if you joined, if you want to say hi, I'd love to say hello. Um, but the second piece of it then, so once you've done that, the question would come into play. It's like, okay, how, like now I've, now I've shifted. I've started to shift this experience, right? I've given my little boy, the little girl, that voice. Now, 
how can I recenter around this idea if I was showing up from a clean slate, right? If I was showing up from a blank slate, how would I show up? And then literally resending yourself every single time you find yourself projecting this old story of people don't show up for me, of whatever version is, you know, whatever, whatever your story is that you keep telling that's no longer working for you, right? Every single time you find yourself, um, you know, projecting that, it's like, okay, wait, I'm gonna have to choose again, right? I'm going to recenter in again and recenter in myself and go, okay, what's my true truth here? Oh, wait, and find things in your life that, that like, you know, so if I was putting out this idea of no one shows up for me, right, I would find examples in my life of places where people do show up for me, right? And there's a gazillion of them, you know, so if that was, that was true, I would be like, oh, wait, let me, let me attach to that, right? Let me attach to this example and this example, someone helped me to fix my car, you know, whatever, whatever versions um, are in your life. So those, that's step number two. And also, um, as part of that, you, you, it's important to stop looking for proof that it's not working and look for proof that it is working, right? So it's like, again, you want to find those examples in your life, like, okay, I'm going to attach this idea that people are showing up for me. And also, too, it's really, really important to stay focused on your intention and what you're truly desiring. So what ends up happening, and I talked about this last year, actually, with the election. I believe I talked about it in this group. So what ends up happening many times, and especially when things aren't working, what we do is we go like this. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, so what we do is we go like this. But what, So we put our blinders on, and we actually narrow our focus to what's not working. And one of the huge keys to changing it is actually to going like this, right? So can you go outward, right? Can you start to expand and expand your attention, expand your focus? So can you start to focus on and stay focused on, okay, my intention here is having experiences where, for in this example, where people show up for me, right? So that, that's my intention. So how can I stay focused on that and stay and keep choosing that versus choosing this reality where people don't show up for me, for instance? And also too, guys, it's really, really important to remember the lag time. So we as humans, we tend to think like, oh my God, why isn't it here? Why isn't this happening? Or, or on the opposite end, why does this keep happening? You know, if it's something you're not wanting to create. And we forget the lag time. So we're like, oh my God, this didn't show up in 10 minutes or five minutes. And sometimes it can, right? But it's really, really important to remember. It's like, okay, if you're waiting on something and you're, you're working on creating it and you're, you're, you're feeling challenged or you're, feeling, you're struggling with that, remember, okay, there's a little bit of a lag time and then that lag time might, you know, might take a, a day, a few days, a week, a month, you know, and so um, uh, just remember that. And the other piece about this is that with the lag time, as you work more and more with the energy, so obviously in our human form, we get conditioned to actually work with um, uh, the physical and that's all we're working with. And let me tell you guys, I always say this, it's like 50% of the story. So if you're only working in the physical space, which is the way most of us get trained to work, right? It's like, oh, if I don't, I, you know, if I, I have to see it to believe it, you know, there's all these different versions. So if you're only working in the physical space, you are missing at least 50% of the ways to create. And, you know, like this weekend was, um, so I've been doing these workshops now this weekend actually celebrated, I believe if, the, if I've got the date right in my head, um, eight months of me doing these workshops. And this weekend I had my first sold out workshop. And so that's huge, right? And people ask me all the time, like, how do you create so quickly? Like, how do you, like, you, you, I move through time and space very quickly. And a huge part of that is I've learned how to play with energy. I've learned how to use my energy. I've cleared like a lot of the energetic blocks that stopped me from working with my energy and, and really accelerating really quickly. And once you do that, you become this um, powerful manifester. You became, become this like, it's like you're able to play with time and space and actually really create huge things in small, small amounts of time. Because time and space, um, as you may have heard, even if you don't fully understand the concept, time and space is illusionary. And so when we can learn how to work with that and play with it and play with it so that we can just really create what we want, it's, it's huge. So, you know, the ways to really play with your energy, clear your blocks, um, which is what I do, <laughs> clearing your energetic blocks. And say, for instance, so, you know, if you have this idea in this example, right, if no one shows up for me, if you have an energetic block to that. So say, for instance, you know, when you were five years old, um, you know, your father didn't show up for you. And that is actually likely at the root of why you have this belief that no one shows up for you. 
And again, it's that little boy or little girl that's within us that wants that attention, right? That wants to be able to have that voice. And when they have that voice, all of a sudden it shifts and you no longer need to hold on to the story, for example, that no one shows up for you. So clearing your energetic blocks, really big way. Also, like um, what I love to do and play with is like, I like to use visions. So they're really more than visions, right? They're like, I call them energetic journeys. And really it's like getting in, it's getting in the feeling, but also seeing it all at the same time. But it's more, it's like this, like you go into this place of expansion of like really seeing like, okay, this is what I want. And actually like feeling, oh my God, this is happening now. And it, where it actually feels true though. And what ends up happening is again, you go back out, right? You go back out to that expansive space. So anyways, that's a few tips for today. Um, just wanted to uh, say hello. Um, if you have questions, if you have comments um, on this video, just comment below. And also to, um, uh, if you're wanting to start to work on your energetic blocks, um, I am doing, so I was, um, basically I'm starting to do, it's a, it's $129, it's an energy clearing session, and basically it's a 50 to 60 minute energy clearing session, and then you also get a 15 to 30 minute um, follow-up call with me. So basically in total it's up to 90 minutes of us doing energy work and doing follow-up to make sure you guys, you're on the right path. And obviously it's a great starting point to starting to clear these energetic blocks because believe it or not, we have, we have way more, um, uh, uh, we have way more stuff that's like holding us back and it's all like rooted in childhood. So basically what ends up happening is we're taking our past into our present which kind of sucks because then that's where we're creating from. And you don't have to create from that, right? You can create from the present in the present. So anyways, if you feel called, um, get uh, just either comment below or message me. And then obviously if you have any comments or questions on the video, uh, anything you're struggling with around this topic, um, comment below as well. Thanks so much for watching.